Hey everyone, I'm Rachel and welcome back to Wholesome Handiworks. Today I wanted to do a little video on something that a bunch of people have been asking me about uh, and it has to do with my purse. My purse, yes. My special self-invented nesting doll system of purse. People have asked about this system that I have mainly because it's weird. Uh, I don't think anyone that has asked me has seen it before. And I never thought anything of it, but it's just what I've developed over a number of years. It works for me. And so I figured I'd share with you. <laughs> there are times when you just do not have the space to lug around your monster 20 pound purse that we all have. You can easily and quickly take parts of it out. They're just tiny little things that allow you to, in a very small space, be very self-sufficient. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. What on earth does my purse have to do with wholesomeness? That's a very good question. <laughs> we should address that. So that is the name of this whole channel. I think wholesome is a lifestyle, right? I mean, you could argue that. Having to do with, you know, just how you are, your personality, how you present yourself, what you wear, what you surround yourself with in your household, and even what you carry on your back, right? Uh, it affects how you get through your day and possibly how you interact with other people or help other people. So I actually had to make a list because I knew I'd never remember all these things. But this is what came to my mind when I thought about what wholesome is to me. So I think, you know, happy, healthy, neat, clean, and organized, helpful and thoughtful, frugal, resourceful, efficient and practical. So those are the things, some of them anyway, that I think of uh, when I think about wholesomeness. And I really see how your purse and what you carry and what you have in it can really affect, again, your lifestyle and how you're getting through the world and how you affect other people. One of the things that I thought was really important as far as a purse was efficiency, efficiency. So efficiency, we're striving to make the best use of our time, our money, and our resources, right? We don't wanna be wasteful, wasteful of any of those things. So that would be efficient. And I would really want my bag to be efficient, right? I also thought of resourcefulness as another big one. So, I don't know, I think it's good to be self-reliant. You wanna be able to help others, but you gotta help yourself first so that you're not a burden to anybody. If you want to be prepared. So being resourceful is, I think, kind of having what you need to do what you need to do. And if you don't have it, you invent it, you make it up, you take what resources are around you and use it in another way to do what you need to do. That can very well affect your personal life. That can affect your comfort, number one. It can affect your very health, like first aid. Think about that, being resourceful. You know, you would maybe carry something with you that could help you in a first aid situation. And even better, you can maybe help somebody else. And again, even just providing comfort for yourself in your day-to-day -day life or for that of your partner, your child, just somebody else. It's just really, really nice. That plays into the thoughtfulness part. The kindness and thoughtfulness is something that I think we could probably all agree is something that is part of wholesome nature, attitude, and therefore lifestyle. So keep those things in mind. Uh, as you're watching uh, what I am pulling out of my purse and how I've organized it, and maybe think about some of those concepts and how you build your purse and the other things that you have around your household and in your life. So my purse, okay. Nothing that I carry is like super pretty. I happen to like them. I don't think they're ugly, but um, the beauty of the bag is not like the most important thing. I don't care about brands. You're, I mean, obviously everything I have has a brand and I may like mention the name because it's like, you know, on the label, but I'm not promoting any particular brand or anything like that. Nobody's paid me to do anything yet. <laughs> but so just, 
keep that kind of stuff in mind. It's not so much about the brand. It's just that the items, I want them to be decent quality, but I need them to function. And uh, as I go through, I'll tell you why these little functions are important to me. Your bag is, is what you're carrying with you every single day, usually, right? So what you carry with you uh, on a daily basis can help you obviously, you know, keep your money intact keep your phone and otherwise like your contact with the world. You can have things that help keep you clean, comfortable, fed, <laughs> um, hydrated, organized, get you out of a jam. Um, yeah, there's a lot of different, there's a lot of different things to it. Those are the things that I try to keep in mind when I pack my purse. And there's a few other YouTubers who are big on like survival and preparedness and they have like full blown EDC kits. And I'm just obsessed with those like videos, you know, preparedness and survival. Don't ask me why. It's just a thing I love. And so I've tried to carry over some of that stuff into what I carry in my purse. Okay, so this will probably be a little bit of a video series. Let me start by showing you um, my bag, my bag. This is actually my big bag. This is, um, it's the sack, it's leather. It's actually a backpack. It is one that has a long strap that you can carry over your shoulder or whatever, but it converts with these little, like these little rings so that you can put it on your, on your back too. It holds a metric ton, I love that. And I'll go over that another day. In there, I have a lot of the extra preparedness stuff in there. I carry like a notebook. There's a pocket for my keys. More pockets, more pockets, more pockets. Okay, so we'll go into this later. I also like that there is like this hardware on the side because uh, you'll see that I'm a big fan of carabiner clips. Like I like to clip important things to my bag and in my bag so that I don't lose them. You'll see there's one like inside here on this zipper pull, aside from safety pins and all that stuff. But this is like a cavern, it holds a ton of stuff. But on top is where I carry my purslet. <laughs> this one happens to be by Bagolini. It's just a, I don't know, like a fabric-y, nylon-y stuff. Nothing fancy whatsoever at all. It's convertible. I like that it is small. This is like the essentials pack. Again, it's very small. I like that it has these D-ring, the D-ring hardware right here because these straps can come off. I like that they themselves are little clips because I can, you know, I can clip my keys to this and clip it to my purse if I have forgotten my carabiner clip for such purposes. You'll see that there's this space here where I keep um, my little baby flashlight. This is, um. Can you see this? Meep. You just, it's one you can squeeze or you can flick and it stays on. I got this like, I think I like a five or six pack on Amazon, but this is indispensable. When it is really, really dark, you will be surprised how much a very tiny bit of light can illuminate. And certainly enough for you to find your stuff inside your bag or to hold at the door and while you're looking for your keys, you know, or getting in the car, whatever. So this is like lifesaver, le legitimately lifesaver. And I put them in every bag that I own. There's another one inside my big purse. Anyway, you'll notice on the back side, this also has little loopy things here that if you wanted to take your strap off, run it through here, you can use it around your waist like a fanny pack. So you could be completely hands-free. The strap is adjustable, so I can use it crossbody or just sling it over my shoulder. Sometimes I just kind of like take it all off, wrap it up and just stuff it in here. So it just keeps this uh, corralled while it's in my bag. Oh, I forgot to say, this thing also has the little wristlet thing. Um, what did I do with it? You can carry this as a wristlet too. Okay, so you'll see that there is a pouch right here and it is big enough to fit my phone. Now I know I have like an ancient iPhone 6. Your phone may be bigger. And I'm pretty sure a bigger phone can fit in here, but it certainly fits mine with this monster extra battery case because it's like croaking. Anyway, but so that's right in there. A couple of things that I keep stuffed in the bottom because there is like a little bit of like a well that forms in the bottom. You'll see everything else is super stuffed, but there's other stuff that I carry in there. Number one obviously is a pen, a slimline pen. 
the other thing that I have, actually two things, my daddy gave me a little buck knife. I know like dudes always carry knives and I actually do think it is important to have a knife. Uh, you gotta be careful because you go certain places, you don't wanna have a weapon that they're just gonna end up taking away from you and you don't wanna get arrested. But knives are very, very, very handy tools for a lot of purposes. And if you can, it's good to carry a little one. If you have it, trust me, you'll use it. The other thing, and I learned this from one of my favorite YouTubers who is uh, kind of a, an outdoorsy guy, is a fingernail or toenail clipper. This is a fingernail clipper, a smaller one. But what is essential is that um, the little, meep, this little guy is in there. And that is important because not only is that a nail file, trust me, sometimes you really need that, it has a little poker scraper thingy, okay? It's a useful tool. It's a very, very useful tool in a very, very compact nature. And sometimes when you need to clip or cut something and you don't have room for scissors and things like that, you'd be amazed what you can cut and get yourself out of with just fingernail clippers. Aside from just obviously clipping your fingers. If you get a hangnail, you break your fingernail, it is so annoying to not be able to fix that. And arguably, uh, this is not a recognized weapon, so it's likely to be safe to carry in your purse and like nobody's gonna you know, yell at you. Also in that pouch, I have a little tiny Ziploc bag with a some pieces of paper just folded up and a post-it note and a paper clip and a little pencil because I just figured why not. Uh, it's just good to have something to write on, not just to write with, but write on in a pinch. And there was a little bit of space in there, so I threw it in there. On the outside, there's a little flappy doodle thing here. And this is large enough to hold quite a lot of stuff. I put the bulkier stuff, stuff that I would grab quickly that I'm not worried about having to be too secure. I have like a makeup palette, nothing fancy, but just powder. Of course, there's a mirror in the puff so I can get rid of my grease face and like check my teeth and whatever, but it's a mirror. There is another little hand sanitizer. This is super, super skinny. And I like it because it's like an overgrown credit card and it fits inside a purse really, really well without being big and leaky and bulky. And I've had other videos that talk about the things that I do magically with hand sanitizer. It's a very, very useful, handy thing to have. You can't really see it, but I also have a couple little, these are hair rubber bands. So rubber bands are just good to have, good for your hair, good for other things, but they're kind of hiding on there. Slightly redundant, but I did manage to fit a nail file in there. Good for a lot of different things. My favorite kind of toothpick, uh, the floss, but it also has the pokey part to actually pick your teeth because you need to do that. I always carry packets of Advil because I think the other, uh, like the other bottles of tablets can sometimes be a little bit big. And this way it also keeps, helps me keep track of when they expire because I'm kind of bad about that. There's a little thing, rubber band for hair. Um, one of the little clippy clippies and then bobby pins. I'm the queen of bobby pins and I just always need them. So I like to keep them on hand. I have a little tiny Ziploc bag that I put in with some like Ricola. They're my favorite cough drop or just sometimes, you know, you don't have water and your mouth is super dry. It works as a breath freshener. It's a little pick me up. You can consider emergency survival food. These are the Echinacea and lemon ones and I just like them. They're yummy. There's also a couple pieces of like tablet style gum. I think it's Trident or something, but I'm not a big gum fan, but sometimes you do need it or do want it. And that's just how I do it without taking up extra space. Tiny little sample size of um, moisturizer, just in case sometimes if your hands or your face or whatever is just miserably dry, this brings a lot of comfort in a small package. It even works well as uh, for very, very, very chapped lips when chapstick or waxy stuff just kind of like makes it worse. I do actually have a pack, pack, pair of tiny packable scissors. Tiny, tiny, tiny. I'm not going to open them up. Scissors are actually kind of like my favorite tool in the world. And then lastly, because I'm a nut, I do not smoke, but this is a tiny, tiny micro Bic lighter, which I couldn't resist. A fire kit in like my backpack for, you know, hiking and camping is just an absolute necessity. So I can't resist not having some way to make fire in my purse. So that's the outer compartment. Into the inside. This has some spaces for like, if you wanna put credit cards. I have like my business card. I also like to have a little card that has your emergency phone numbers and stuff because guess what? Nobody remembers phone numbers anymore, guys. Like they're all stored in your phone. And when your phone is dead, it's not if, it's when, and you can't remember anybody's phone number, 
you're going to need that. Also, I utilize a little key hider thingy. This is actually from my in-law's house. But just in case, uh, you know, your keys go bye-bye, you have a spare key inside your purse kind of hiding. In the corners, we'll get to the wallet part. In the corners, I have, again, I'm obsessed with like lip product, um, Blistex ointment. My favorite lip balm slash gloss lipstick stuff by NARS. Oh, this is a big thing. I'll have to do a video on this another time, but uh, this is a little bit of, I use it as eye drops. It's a colloidal silver and uh, sterile water, which I use for my eyeballs because I get uh, eye infections really easy, irritations, but it's an amazing antibiotic type product, which you can use for wound care. I use it in my eyes all the time, but it's great for wound care. And then at the bottom here, I have just rolled up. This is an actual like fabric hanky. You never know when you just don't have a paper towel, you need to, you know, wipe something, blot something, clean up wound care, like a wound dressing. So it's a white, you know, cotton handkerchief thing. I always carry always a safety pin or two just like literally just stuck into the liner of my purses because they're super, super handy. The back is zipper pocket. Can you believe how much stuff is in here, guys? Mm, what do I have? Oh, first aid, a little sterile gauze. I also have an itsy bitsy one. You know the dog poo poo bags? This is just like one or two of them because you never know when you might need to dispose of something. Uh, just you need an emergency way to carry something or you can use it as like a makeshift hand covering slash glove if you got to touch something gross or carry something gross or barf something. Always like a panty liner or something like that, which is obviously great for female hygiene needs, but it's also a sanitary dressing. You have a, a, a gnarly cut, a wound, something rubbing in your shoe. Very, very handy, but kept sterile. Earplugs. I keep these because my husband has ear damage and he always forgets them. And any place we go that has a band or is loud, his ears are in pain. So I always carry them. I also always have a compressed towel, a little disposable hand towel. It's compressed into a tablet. It's in a little uh, sanitary wrapper. When you add water, it magically opens up and you have a really good size like washcloth, cleaning cloth, which again can work as a dressing for a wound. Um, or just general cleanup. I have another little Ziploc bag that I labeled with um, medicine and allergy stuff. But I think it's really important to have uh, like Benadryl and anti-allergy medication on hand, even if you're not someone that knowingly suffers with anaphylaxis uh, for whatever, you know, bee stings, shellfish, whatever, you just never know. Uh, and being able to kind of like halt an acute allergic reaction is a really important thing until you can get to treatment. So I always keep Benadryl in there. I have Pepto tablets. Usually I have like an Imodium as well because you never know. You just you just feel sick. You got tummy problems. That's a great way to remedy it. Remedy it. Oh, and this, I made another little Ziploc bag. Tiny, I love tiny bags. These tiny Ziplocs, I love them. And I put a little red cross on there so I know it's first aid. This is an alcohol swab and band-aids of various sizes. The big kind for big, oozy, yucky wounds, regular small band-aids, which again, for regular cuts and scrapes, just, you know, again, putting on a blister in your shoe. The last thing I have is like a fabric type face mask. I just have rolled up into here just in case that all comes back or there are some times where, you know, it's just regular particulate that you encounter, whether it be um, smoky outside, dusty. So that's the stuff that's in that back compartment. So this would be like level three of nesting. This is my actual wallet. I do not any longer use a big wallet. I hate them. <laughs> I at some point had the epiphany and said, all I need is just a little ID wallet, obviously for my license. I love that it has the ring on it, which came with a lanyard. So, you know, the idiot string, which is great if that's all you're carrying, you just can carry it around your neck or carabiner, carabiner clip it to something else. Like I'll put it into my dance bag when I go to class, but super small, level four of nesting possibly. This is how I carry my credit cards inside of this. 
it's a safety sleeve. It's one of those little mylar things that help like the RFID protection from bad scammer people. I keep all the credit cards inside here rather than using one of those big Aluma wallets that will protect them from being like magically swiped. I can carry, how do I have like one, two, three, four, five in here? It's supposed to be for one, but I just stuff them all in here. Inside next to it, I carry my dollars. So I do like a little trifold thing. Yay, I'm rich. And just keep it nested inside here like that. Oh, there's a couple business cards, stuff like that. Um, I have, ooh, TJ Maxx rewards. So, uh, so the coins are in here, coupons, like gift cards, but mainly it's the cash, the credit card. And then in this front little window, there's actually quite a bit of room. So that's where I have the license as we saw. And then another one of those emergency cards. I laminated mine. I just wrote it on like a piece of thick paper and I laminated it by just taking like packing tape and wrapping around it so that it's, if it gets wet, it's not gonna matter. I can still read the numbers. So that's the system. So if I needed to go just in the store with like just my keys and nothing else, I can, you know, like clip these together, just, boop. I have just that. I could put the wristlet duber onto here and carry this on my wrist, or I could put this back in here. Zippity doo dah. My keys are a whole nother story. Who makes this? Night eyes. I love this key system. Uh, keeps my keys together. I can take each individual one off if I need to. Okay, so there's like house, business, car. You see, I have one of these because this is like the source when I need to get in the house. I can't see, I can use that. But I like how this is a nice carabiner clip that I then clip to the outside when I'm like fumbling with stuff. So is that beautiful? No, but uh, it works for me. And then again, when I'm done, I can just wrap this whole thing up and drop it into the top of my purse. I, anyway, so the wristlet purselet thing can sit right on the top of this bigger bag. And believe it or not, it will zip for security. And there's my notebook. I slip my, I can slip my phone in here. Tuck that away, my keys are in there and all the other junk is in here. Okay, so that's the system. Now, if you think about where you go on, on a daily basis or where you venture out to, and if you got stuck, <laughs> what would really be handy to have? So little tools that you can fit. I will go into my big purse at another time because there are more tools and other things in there. Again, I treat it kind of like an EDC, everyday carry, survivalist type thing, but my little purse that I carry like into the store and whatnot, I still like to have stuff on me just in case something happened and I got separated from the other stuff. There would be things in there that would bring me a lot of comfort, help me in first aid, maybe be able to help somebody else, aside from just carrying my cell phone and money. That was long and I'm really sorry. <laughs> But I do hope that was helpful. I hope maybe there were a couple tips that you found useful. If you enjoyed it, please let me know. Give a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe. Be sure to check out the other playlists that I have that have to do with all the other fun stuff that flows out of my crazy brain. All right. So thank you so much again for watching today. I love you and I hope to see you back again soon. Bye. Nope. Not ready yet. <laughs> I'm new here. Who makes this? I don't even know. Oh, that picture's so bad. All right, this is terrible, guys. I'm really sorry. Meep. No, no, not again. No, 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 we're done.